Yes, yes, I know. We're talking about Danny Contract again. Yeah, it it's news. We're going to talk about it. Hello and welcome to this video. If you could like, share and subscribe to the channel, I'd much appreciate it. Liking out the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces and subscribing lets me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when video go live. So the contract talks between Danny and uh, Chansey, well, Danny and Danny's representation and his uh, people who are looking after this and Chansey are apparently going well. Uh, the star on the stands and they're trying to get it all sorted. Now, this had been taking place in London. So although people go, I've seen Danny uh, or I've seen Chancery here in Sheffield, I don't think you have done. I think you'll be looking at someone else. Uh, but there's been a lot of speculation regarding to his future after everything that's happened. And he made in a press conference that he wanted some reassurance with what happens next. And some of them are probably length of contract. Some of them are probably what he wants happening behind the scenes. So he's not doing 80 hour weeks, uh, like he said. And we have to look at this as a positive because we have to go with what's going on. Uh, now, again, it seems like everything's been very positive so far and great about possibly agreeing a new deal soon. Uh, but they need to get some things sorted in it first before it can finalize. And this is the sort of thing that we need to try and get sorted. Now, a lot of it is due to like people being linked with Danny in England and abroad. But this is the thing. A lot of that will be to do with the compensation. Now, Danny has done an interview in Germany that saying that he was like to not manage in England after Wednesday. Uh, and his contract currently is until 2025. Now, apparently, it's the compensation terms that are a little bit that I'm wanting to get sorted. And we know that the current figures are 5 million for all and 10 million for all and his staff. And I, I believe he's wanting to have that maybe lowered a little bit. To, so if he does have a chance to go back to Germany, it's there. And I think he probably wants that reassurance. If, if a job comes up in Germany, he can go for it without feeling like he's going to get blocked. Uh, we already know that there's been requests to improve the training ground over the player recruitment and the possibility of keeping people in. We know that there's been talks about Chris Powell staying if Danny stays. Uh and here's the thing that you have to also remember. This isn't be talking about just uh, Danny contract. This will be also his staff as well, because they're on same contracts as him that he ends at the end of 2025. So if you're throwing that in there, you've got to sort those out. And I think you look at everything that Danny's done so far. You trust him with the key to the car. You let him get it into gear and start rolling and see what he can do with a full season behind him, a full transfer window. Um, you see where he can do, because you look at that form at the end of the last season, that was going on playoff form to a point. Like if we went for it, we could have done that, but it was too little too late. We left ourselves too short. And the compensation thing, I can understand why... Danny might be like, that might be a bit rich for some clubs. And that's where these negotiations go. Nothing's set in stone yet. Nothing is confirmed. And I know people are going to be like, lose the mind because we're talking about it again. But again, this is what's out there in it. This is what's been talked about. All the players are on holiday. Josh Windath is in Dubai with Bernard, maybe pushing in, pushing in, go, sure you don't want to stay at Wednesday, kind of thing. I offers away. Bannon's off doing his coaching badges. Liam Palmer just done his coaching badges. Players are starting to go away and stuff. There's not a lot that gets done in the points. But for us, you have to remember, this is the thing of going, getting a new deal. It's not as in like the situation where you would have where, hey, uh, we want you to become our manager. Let's get this deal done or you're not going to be our manager. This is extending the current terms of his deal, which... Let's be honest, with what he did last season, 
I think we all kind of knew that the kind of talk were going to happen because he pulled off a miracle. He came in as a bit of an unknown and it was a big risk for Chan Theory to do it, but it's a risk that's paid off. And it's very rare we talk about Chan Theory and Rick and it paying off, but this one did. And I, we got to see anything that comes out from the media about this and where it comes from as a bit of a positive. Let's try and not like take the good bin on it off because this is a good thing. And I know people are like, we they want it done now or, or don't report on it until it's official. Well, this is the stuff that's coming out uh, to uh, sources in the media. I've had stuff that I'm not going to even turn around and say on here because I don't want to put it out there kind of thing. Because if it goes wrong, I look like an idiot. And also at the same time, I don't want to burn anybody who is one of my sources because you, that's the way it works. So you have to see what's going on and go from there. But at the end of the day, the fact that these are positive talks still going on with Danny's rep representatives, I've been saying it wrong the entire time, oh well. Uh, shock, punk chef 41 says a word wrong. Shocker. Um, but we need to be smart with how we go into the negotiations and know that Danny wants to stay. Danny has made it clear he wants to stay. He just wants certain things in place of uh, peace of mind. You put those things in place to him. You don't go back on it. You have a manager who's loved the club, wanting to build something, wanting to plan something, want to probably start getting players in the door. The probably the thing is, he probably doesn't want to be, he wants this to be done as soon as possible as Chancery does and want to start building a team for next season. And that's the thing. We need to build a team for next season. And I think under Danny, you're going to have a good one. You've got all the stuff with uh, shirt people are acting if Macron still the provider this season, we don't know. Nothing come out yet, and also make just put into uh, context. It's the twenty third of May. Our last game was on the fourth of May, so I think that's about three weeks since the season ended. If if we're gonna have a season like this where we're waiting on things, we just have to play the patient game, and just see where we are at the end of it. Because if we play the patient game and go in the right direction, we will be fine. Uh, we just got to make sure that the negotiations go well and that we, if whatever he wants, he gets. And that's the bit that you got to do. If he can get what he wants within reason, with Ch Chancery, you give it him. So for me, I'd be... Take, take this as a very big positive about what's going on. That's all I'd say. Take it as a big positive. This is reported by the staff. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we get some confirmation soon that it's all done and dusted.